Hey everybody, welcome back to Holy Roller Guitars, and you may not be seeing double, but I am. <laughs> I just wanted to throw in a joke there at the very beginning. Uh, in all seriousness, I do want to give you an update on my vision. So, um, after that last steroid injection where I was winking my eye in that video, I did uh, end up seeing the doctor as an emergency appointment on the Tuesday of the following week. And they ended up giving me some steroid drops and some like ibuprofen drops. That's what I'm calling them. Uh, it's for inflammation. But the uh, steroid drops are for pain. And um, they also um, help the eye, um, you know, quickly heal. So although I got a steroid injection in my eye, the steroid drops really helped me from overnight. Like my vision was really cloudy and I was having to use my walking stick in the hospital. And um, when I uh, went to go see the doctor and he gave me, I got the drops. Um, the first night I was only able to get the uh, steroid drops because the insurance, you know, insurances. Um, the other drop I was able to get the following day. But um, overnight it was clearing up my vision. And then uh, by the following, like two days later, I'm seeing better. I uh, just want to give you an update on these two guitars. Um, this one is a newly acquired guitar that I got from trading the red Telecaster so this was a trade guitar and this is my number one guitar that I had so you can tell the difference from the neck and then you can tell the difference from the knobs and then the tuners this one has the uh, Cluson tuners and this one has the tombstone tuners so I want to see what the differences are and right away just holding this guitar this guitar has a slimmer neck although they're both the 56 model this one has a slimmer neck and this one has a flat spot that i wasn't aware of like i thought maybe they just might have did that but this one has a flat spot on the back of this guitar well i don't really don't want to move it um but i'll show you on a little bit um and then of course the differences of the top uh, I'm not sure how well y'all be able to see the differences on the top, but this one has some grain. This one looks a little bit darker to me. It looks a little bit darker. And this one looks a little bit brighter. And it has this really nice wood grain here. And then some figuring here. And then some really nice figuring down here. So I'll show you all this in a, another video. but uh, And I'll show you all also this in another video where I... Uh, shined up the frets did the fret polish and then did the uh, f1 oil on the neck but this video is going to be what are the differences between these two guitars so we're going to go first with the pickups we're going to test out the pickups see what the readings are from there of course they're set up differently um, i set up this one and another gentleman set up this one uh, rick set up this one he also does guitar setups and is into guitars and stuff like that so um he set up this one i set up that one very minimal differences on the string height but there is quite a bit of a difference for one of these pickups but this one has this telly sound to this bridge pickup that this one doesn't have but this one has a strat um, kind of sound to this neck pickup which this one doesn't have because it's really bassy and you can see here from the height of the string of the pickup here compared to the height of this one the way this one is so that's one major difference. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. And we'll start off with the pickups first. And then we'll go on to the neck specs. I'm going to go off of the readings from the video that I did off of this one. And we're going to do this in real time. So um, let's get right, to it. So I don't want to bore you all of recording this. So I'm just going to do this. Roll it on a piece of paper. Um, so for number one, neck pickup. We have 8.48 coming out of that neck pickup. And on the bridge pickup, we have 7.78 coming out of the bridge pickup. For number two, which is this one, I'm going to call this one number two. I'm going to call that one number one. Um, we have 7.44. So look at the difference. That's almost one ohm difference. And then for the bridge pickup, we're about the same. Uh, for number one, we're at 7.78. Number two, we're at 7.64. So about 0.14 off differences. But... I would assume that if it's a little bit more hotter, this one might sound a little bit more better. So staying really positive that the height of these pickups will do the differences. And then of course the strings, this one has complete tens on it. This one has hybrids, tens on the top, nines at the bottom. 
So I would think it, you would have a little bit more of a tele sound, maybe, I don't know, Fender-ish, you know, nines. Um, going on to the setup of the guitar. So we're going to go off the number one here. So number one has the bass side at 11 64s, so that's that side. And then for the high, for the high side, we have five 64s. Number two on this one here, on the bass side, we have four, so very close, four 64s there. And we have four and a half, which is only half uh, 64s away from number one. So that shouldn't be different. It's just going to be this. Um, so maybe we can lower this one um, to number one's, uh, you know, reading. So maybe we can move it to 10 or nine or something to bring down that bass because I don't really like all that bass in the neck pickup. Down to the bridge pickup, you can see how that one's really high. Um, on the bass side, we have seven 64s. And on the high side, we have five and a half 64s. And then on number two, we have three 64s. So now this is the difference for the, the bridge pickup where I like the bridge pickup on this one more than I do on that one. Um, so we're going to have to bring up this one to three 64s on number one. And then on the high side, I'm going to leave it the same. That one is at five and a half. This one is at six. So we're going to leave it the same. So we're just going to adjust the base side on both pickups. So right now the pickups are done. And now let's go to the neck specs. And I will write down the neck specs from the tech specs video that I did for number one. But we'll get these real time um, right now. We're going to get the nut width here. So we're at 1.69. And then for the millimeters, we're at 42.9. And for the 12 fret, we are at 2.10 and we are at 53.1 millimeters. So let's get that written down and let's get the other one for number one because it's number two. And let's see the differences for the width and then we'll get the depth of the first fret and the 12 fret. So now for the moment of truth, we're going to take the measurement in the middle of the fret and we are at 0.95 there. And then if we go like to the fret, we're at 0.93. So I guess let's go with 0.93 there. And 24.1 millimeters. And for your 12th fret, we are gonna go take it from the middle and we're at 1.02 millimeters. We're at 26.1. So this is the width for number one and 1.69 at the nut and 43.2 millimeters and for the 12th fret 2.10 52.7 millimeters looks to me like 0.924 for the first fret all right moving on to the 12th fret we have 1.025 Alrighty, well that surprised me a lot about this neck. Um, it looks like number two is just a tad bit um, thicker on the first fret. And then on the 12th fret, it's about the same. 1.02 um, for both for both at the 12th fret. So now we're going to take a look at the neck. And this is what I wanted to show y'all here, if y'all can see this. So you know where it have it'll have like a stinger right here. I'm pretty sure y'all can see this right here. Um, so what I'm pointing out is is this right here, that portion. Well, this one it looks like it has like a flat spot there, and um, that's what I fell more on number one than on this one. But now looking at this one, I'm like, yeah, it does have that flat spot, but it gets rounder here on the first fret, so it's more here at the at the curve of the of the, the headstock so but, uh, but here we can take a look at the neck really quickly see the wood grain through the blue Ooh, that's nice uh, and then we'll get to the back and you can see that mahogany through the blue and there's minimal like minimal minimal like swirls on it very clean if i do this this is just from the rag There's probably like one swirl on the back of this guitar like in the middle um 
but other than that it looks really 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 good i do have to like polish it up more but i was just doing a quick clean uh, here are the pots uh, i wanted to show you this well they're dated to 2014 and made in korea so i'm pretty sure they're 500k um but they're made in korea pots and this is just a the wiring let's go out a little bit yeah there you go oh there's another one right there okay there, i'm like where are my caps yeah they're using caps there okie dokie so there's the electronics there's the back of the guitar there's the neck and uh yeah so it looks like they're very similar um spec wise and of course they were built you know 2014 of april and that's the same thing for number one over there um but yeah so there you have it everybody um here are the readings you saw the neck on number two and the back of number two and the electronics um this one is just a little bit smaller here one thousandths smaller on the first fret or they are the same width uh, wise and uh, depth wise here on the 12th um this one just has that flat spot that i was trying to show you on the back of the neck like it has this flat spot that goes all the way here to like the middle it still feels flat here so it goes all the way until the end of the first fret going into the second so not sure how well i can show you on camera but I don't know if you can see that, how flat it looks right here. I don't know, I'd have to play with the lighting, but it does, you know, it is flat here on the first. So that's the only difference between this one and the other one, um, but they were both made in 14 of April. And uh, yeah, this one has the Clusons, the other one has the stock ones, and this one still has this and that and this one that still has it on the other one so here's the back of the neck of number one very nice and then here's the back of the body see if y'all can get that wood grain this one does have more swirl marks and marks on the back of the guitar because it's been played more I just wanted to give y'all an overview of this one. So for my daily advice today, I want to share 5-3 Supply, Evan and Victoria Shanks and their family. Uh, we recently got these shirts. I got one from you, one for Sarah, and then I got that Find Your Inner Spark shirt with the spark plugs. Um, no giving up is my daily advice for today. And... To add to that is keep the faith, trust in God. Um, ask your family for prayer, remain in prayer for whatever you're going through. You know, you could be having a bad day at work. You know, there's no giving up. Just go to the end of the day. You could have a terrible car accident, get hit from behind like I did in 2020. And, you know, at a red light of all things, you know, but you have to, no giving up, keep on going. Go get checked out, of course, go to the hospital and go get checked out, you know, especially if you've been in a car accident. Um, or like what we're going through right now with Sarah, please, if you're going through a health crisis, if you're going through something with health related, please keep the faith, please. And I know it sounds easy hearing me through this camera say it, but we're going through it right now. We have to not give up, keep the faith, and keep stepping forward. Take it one day at a time. My grandpa had a saying, un dia a la vez, one day at a time. That's what we have to do. There's my grandpa right here. And there's me with Steve Ray Vaughn. There's Sarah and I for our 10 year anniversary. There's Sarah and I when we first met. Bob is yelling over here but no giving up that's my daily advice so with all that being said god bless y'all thank y'all for your support and 
Uh, please, if you're not subscribed, I know I, you, if you're here at the end, then you're a subscriber. But if you're here till the end, please subscribe. Take care. God bless. Peace. Remember, God loves you and we love you. Thank you for your support. And until the next one, I'll show you all number, guitar number one, the transformation um, of the fretboard. But before the fretboard, I'm going to show you all what you all missed um, from this past week. My iPad broke. Um, it didn't want to turn on and it ended up being because I left the game on and it somehow tripped something and I don't know whatever happened but um, I have pictures for you what's going on with that other number two number two is no longer here Jimmy has it and I want to show you what Jimmy wanted to do with that guitar so um, stay tuned for the next one take care God bless peace